Cars are noisy. Revving engines, tires on pavement. But what about the sounds coming from inside the car? Ford calls them chimes. So we use our chimes as the voice of the automobile. It takes a team to bring that voice to life. Engineer Sean DeGennaro is a member of Ford's Vehicle Harmony Division, whose job it is to make sure those alerts get noticed by the driver. If we get it wrong, you don't know that you have low tire pressure, you don't know that you're low on fuel, and then all of a sudden you're stuck on the side of the road. Ford engineers view the chime development process as a scientific and musical exercise. There's certain sounds to the human ear that we know through traditions of music, that we know through studying um, behaviors of the, the ear that tell us that are, that are irritating to the human ear and pleasant to the human ear. It's up to us to pick the right frequencies that can um, deliver either the harsh or positive sound that we want. At Toyota, they're called buzzers. Nathan Secord says he and his fellow engineers have a choice of pre-selected noises. And they assign them to different tasks based on the urgency of the alert. There's like a ranking system where uh, it'll determine how severe the warning needs to be. 10 years ago, there wasn't much research behind interior car noises. But as more features have been added to vehicles, the number of sounds has grown. A car on average will have anywhere between 10 to 15 chimes, with at most, I would say, about 20 different unique chimes in the vehicle. So whether something has been left in the back seat, an object is a little too close while the car is backing up, or a potential collision is about to occur, there's a carefully designed chime or buzzer for that. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Livonia, Michigan.